Hi everyone, Kirk Whedon for NFC, your nonprofit fundraising channel. I'm here today with NFC's co-host, Tanya Smith-Evans. Hi, Tanya. Do you remember the organization called Bottles for Babies? Oh, of course. That is the nonprofit whose board of directors is chaired by Mr. Murray, the successful toy manufacturer. Yes, that's correct. And uh, take a look at how Mr. Murray and the executive director for Bottles for Babies try to convince a very unhealthy billionaire to make a bequest to their organization. You're the chairman of Bottles for Babies plan giving committee. You have to get Mr. Wolucci to make this bequest. You have to. I don't know. I don't know about this. I don't have a good feeling about this. No, no. They say Mr. Wolucci only has a few days left. Please, please, you have to do this. Uh, we have an appointment with Mr. Wolucci. Mr. Wolucci? <coughs> so what do you want? Well, Mr. Wolucci, here's the thing. See, I chair the Bottles for Babies plan giving committee. We're talking to people who have made donations in the past to Bottles for Babies. What we'd like, what we'd really like, is for you to make a planned gift. A plant? What the, kind of plant? No, not a plant. A planned gift. A bequest. <coughs> no, Mr. Wolucci, don't die or anything, okay? Oh, this was such a mistake. I knew it. I knew it. I'm going to guess, Kurt, that that is an example of how not to ask for a request. Yeah, it was at the very least bad timing for sure. The billionaire probably figures if he puts bottles for babies into his will, he'll be taking a long walk off a very short dock, something like this. Yeah, that's not the impression you want to be giving when you're asking people for a bequest. I'm assuming there has got to be a better way. Well, you know, that brings us to the takeaways for this NFC video. First, if your nonprofit has a donor list, use an e-bulletin or a newsletter uh, to reach out to supporters, cite real life examples of how bequests can make a genuine difference to your organization. And second, have available sample paragraph or paragraphs that can be used when a donor drafts a will. And third, for those donors who have been supporters for a number of years, consider sending out a, a very simple questionnaire that asks, hey, listen, do you have a will? Uh, if you don't, can we provide information that can help you create a will? Uh, have you included our organization in your will? Now, another idea is to explore setting up what many nonprofits call a legacy society for donors who have included a bequest for your nonprofit. Give those society members special attention and special benefits. Another idea, think about hosting a seminar uh, featuring an estate planner who can outline the benefits of a bequest and then follow up with those individuals who attend the seminar. And finally, remember that a bequest is just one way to provide a legacy gift to your organization. Check out NFC's other moneymaker video on plan giving options that are just as helpful as a, to a nonprofit as a bequest. Thanks, Kurt. That's a lot of good information.